Hi everyone. Um, <laughs> I am having, whoop, let me get the most outrageous morning. Um, so today at 1145 on my Facebook page, so right where you're at now, and on Mariam Sardari's Facebook page, we are going to start our 33 days of manifestation which is like they're short every morning 11 45 a short manifestation lesson some days will be longer but the rest of the week will be shorter and so this morning you know i'm i'm nervous i've been off social media for a few months while setting up my little you know main animal sanctuary and farmstead so this morning i awoke well last night when i went to bed i was like man I really, really, really want to see the Aurora Borealis. I would love to see it on Halloween, except we had rain. We've been having nonstop, like cold, dank, downpouring rain for days, and it's supposed to rain all day today. So I'm like, well, that's not going to happen. But oh, I would love to see the Aurora Borealis on uh, Halloween. And then I woke up this morning, it's just downpouring, it's chilly, it's dank. And I have a little app on my phone that lets me know when the KP index gets high enough and um, for it. And it's like zero. I'm like, oh. And then I meditate and I was working with my guides. I'm like, you know what? Whenever it happens, whenever it happens, you know, I would love this. I would love this because I'll go car camping at the local beach and just like you know, watch it happen. So um, I'm meditating on how much I look forward to whenever it works, just inviting happy non-expectation flowing energy. Took a shower, you see I'm all a wet head. I came out of the shower and look, blue skies, blue skies. And on top of that, not just, look at that, so freaking beautiful. Um, on top of that, the KP mass index was up, way up high in the yellow zone, number four, which means tonight I'm car camping on a beach. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Not just everyone join me to keep manifesting that the weather stays good and the index stays high. And if so, I will get like beautiful, beautiful Aurora Borealis footage to share with you tomorrow. Fingers crossed. That's what manifestation's all about. Like inviting the miracles to flow. So anyway, uh, join me back here 1145 this morning or every morning. And uh, we'll like work on, you know, whether you want things for yourself or those you love or, you know, um, here, let's see. There we go. There we go. Or um, if you want, like, planetary healing, you know, whatever. Let's manifest together. It's actually so much fun. So, um, you know, you all have a great day. And I hope to see you again in, what, like an hour and a half. <laughs> all right? I mean, 11.45. Right now I think it's 10.15 here. All right. Bye-bye. This is my new home that I actually manifested, 43 acres, and it's like my dream home. Uh, we will get into that, like, um, further down in the process. But um, Mariam and I, we both love manifesting, and manifesting is really just inviting reality to get into alignment with your wishes, your dreams, your hopes. You know, it's pretty much that simple. So there's law of attraction, there's magician work, there's like Hindu and Buddhist monk work. There's like all different ways, all different ways of manifesting. There's um, manifesting where things appear into your life. Things that were not in your life suddenly appear in your life. And there's manifesting that things that already exist are attracted to you and find their way to your life path. There's manifesting where you have to work for what you want. And there's manifesting where what you want is given to you. It's all different ways of manifesting, different subtle techniques. 
um, since I'm a former chef, I like to bring it into cooking. There's French cuisine, Italian cuisine, different kinds of Asian cuisine, you know, all kinds of cuisines, but they're all food. So over the next 33 days, we're going to get into, you know, different kinds of manifestation. Different recipes. And, <laughs> yeah, the recipes. <laughs> so one of my favorite types of manifestation is combining spoon bending. This is an antique sterling silver spoon that like had its perfect shape for over a hundred years till I got my hands on it. <laughs> and this is a fork and a spoon that I bent together. <laughs> Arts. <laughs> this is a commercial like for catering soup spoon that I coiled up <laughs> um, and so I think this week we're just going to share fun little technique just to like get into the joy of it and then next week Mariam who is a brilliant EFT tapping person uh will sort of take lead and i'll tell you guys how through eft tapping within two days i manifested my dream map <laughs> yeah um we're just gonna do the tapping now remember and you guys can use it for whatever you want to manifest we'll just do the, the whole process of it and you get to choose what you want <laughs> <laughs> and of course, one of the issues with manifesting is, is it what you really want? <laughs> because I had to give up my dream man. Apparently, I didn't want him after all. <laughs> That's a good point, though, you know, because yeah. sometimes we think we want something, but we realize mm, not really. Maybe we kind of <laughs> wanted to want it you know so yeah. yeah but we're gonna keep it a little closer to like smaller stuff not not anything that big and then you guys you know you get the hang of it and you can practice on your own and see mm -hmm. what you come up with but we'll we'll keep keep it to fun little things throughout the day you know like you ask for something um just even like a little reminder the manifestation be the reminder of something that has some sort of significance to you you know yeah and it also helps to clear the things within you that is stopping you from manifesting what you want uh, so one of the things we'll work on is utilizing your ego your self-esteem to get in alignment with your wishes and we'll get into that that's a really good point. I, I wanted to, before we start, Bonita, if, if you don't mind, let me just give a reminder to everyone who's watching. This is about you manifesting for you. Put out any notions of manifestation for someone else or, you know, like you are holding a grudge towards somebody else and you want to manifest something unpleasant or you catch my drift. That's not how this thing works, okay? This is about you, your energy, your alignment with what you want. So mm -hmm. let's just put that out there. This is not about anybody else, you know? <laughs> just you for you. Exactly. Manifesting for others is a lot more advanced because you're dealing with a lot of issues that have to get into alignment. Before you can manifest for others, you have to be comfortable and confident with manifesting for yourself. And um, so we'll start out with self. If people want to do like manifesting for planetary healing or stuff like that, we're definitely going to get into there because I know there's a lot of earth healers joining us. A lot. Um, so a couple of things I want to mention. One, um, I'm going to put links to Mariam's website and to my YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to 
do an entire manifestation um, series on there. So you can go on there and practice. I already have a lot of manifestation videos. So if you go onto my channel and subscribe, I actually need to manifest more subscribers. Thank you. Actually, I have a YouTube too. You can put the link of my YouTube as well. It's Great. Yeah. 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 Let's, so, let's manifest some subscribers here, people. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> manifest to our YouTube channel so we can do a lot more fun videos and, um, you know, it was like a last spring. No, no, no. Like a year ago, um, Archangel Michael was telling me to start moving away from Facebook. And so the, you know, and so I kind of have been, and now I sort of see more of why he was telling me that. So, um, you know, join our YouTube channels so that that's where I think both of us will do a lot more. I'll be on YouTube and TikTok until I learn how corrupt they are. <laughs> so, um, but that's where I'll have, I have at least 20 or 30 manifestation and law of attraction exercise videos on there. So then you can just go on the channel and practice all sorts of fun. Yeah. Um, it's important to honor like how you are comfortable manifesting. Like right here, can't really see them, but these are a bunch of crystals that um, were uploaded from the angelic realm to me. Um, I did not afford them, someone else did. But I can tell you there's nothing and then there's crystals and they were they were not a hundred percent solid when they first came through we watched them become more solid and physical and um so that is how this one person i was with and others there have been a few manifest they invite energy to come from another dimension and create something in this dimension um that's not as comfortable for me. I have another friend whenever he needs money and we'll go over this technique like closer to day 33 because it's wild. Whenever he needs money, he has a technique where the money just appears in his checking account. However much he needs, he says he's most comfortable manifesting $10,000 at a time. And I have seen him do this. I have seen him do it where the money just appears. When I was with him and I was able to glide on his energy, I was able to manifest money into my checking account. And then the next day I was freaking out because in my mind, money must come from somewhere. So if it appeared in my account, I must have taken it from someone. Like, and I'm not a thief, I'm not a liar. I'm like very uncomfortably honest. So I went to the bank and I was like, there's money in my account. Where did it come from? And they're like, uh, it's your money. You deposited it. <laughs> and he explained the money didn't come from anywhere. It just appeared. And that's a whole other story that we'll share. So, so you want to do the, uh, the meditation you were talking about? Yeah. Right so, today? Yeah. So I just wanted to say like, Part of this process is for you to become comfortable with how you manifest and to grow from there, as opposed to trying to force yourself to manifest the way maybe another person does. Good point. Yes. Important. So this is something that um, I think Mariam and I were together when this started in our, in our meditation group that we joined, where... Begin with something fun because manifestation doesn't always have to be like, oh, I need to pay my rent. Oh, I need to get that job. Oh, I need this. I need that. No, it should. If the word need is there, then you're already on rocky standing with the start of your manifestation because you're manifesting the frequency of need. So you're going to get more need. Here I go. So um, start with something that just really brings you joy, makes you happy um and for me it is magical horses 
I don't care if it's a Pegasus or a unicorn horse or a uh, purple or a rainbow horse or love, love, love. Uh, yeah, or a talking horse, you know, a horse from mythology or just like uh, as I'm driving through the countryside here, I see horses out in the field nuzzling each other or playing to me. I just want magical horses. Purple rainbow unicorns, pegasuses, you know, Valkyrie flying horses or happy horses with a shaft of sunlight shining on them. I don't care. I want magical, <laughs> beautiful, magical horses. Um, so when I did that, um, I think it was our friend Lisa who got us to do it the first time. She was talking about rainbow horses. For the next three days or more, I invite these magical horses into my life. And then the next day I went out and I was in the grocery store and on the card rack where they have like, you know, whatever birthday cards, et cetera, there was one, a rain, flying rainbow unicorn horse on the face of a card <laughs> right over there. And then I went to the post office and my dog was kind of whiny. So I, oh, hi, Connie. <laughs> and so I was a little late getting in and this woman and her little girl got in right ahead of me. And then the girl turned around. She's holding a stuffed uh, winged horse. I was like, okay. <laughs> and we smiled at each other. And she's yeah. playing with a horse like it's flying at me. And um, so then that evening I was in a, a meeting on Zoom. And I mentioned this to the woman I was in the meeting with. She cracked up laughing, picked up a rainbow, stuffed rainbow horse. And she said, I don't know why I brought this into this room tonight. <laughs> I just felt like I had to have it with me for the meeting. And now I know why <laughs> I'm seeing rainbows everywhere. I'm seeing like, you know, it, it and variations. I, you know, a unicorn goat, whatever. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I, I like to manifest that today. <laughs> exactly. I'm okay with that. All right. So everyone, a little two minute, quick, fun manifestation. And you can invite whatever you want to see, whatever you want to notice. And you'll see like some things will appear out of nowhere, like just pop into your mind. Some things you will, they've always been there, but you never notice them. Or maybe someone turns the rack just at the right moment. So this is a form of fun manifestation, a way to remind you that things can happen. Um, like this morning. Can I, can I add something? Mm -hmm. um, as you were saying something that brings you joy I want to emphasize that because the vibration of joy is really the most magnetic vibration so the more you align with that the faster to getting it mm -hmm. yes I mean joy is really great because if you manifest from a place of joy and you're inviting like whatever ember of joy that's within you to become more so, then you've already won. Like no matter what else happens, you've already won. Yeah. You know? And um, as some of you know, this morning I was wishing for an Aurora, actually yesterday, wishing for an Aurora Realis on Halloween. And then today the KP index popped up the highest I've seen. I have a little app on my phone that lets me know when it's Aurora Borealis time. And then the skies, it was supposed to be downpour all day. The skies cleared, it was blue. Now the clouds are coming back. It's supposed to rain tonight. I don't know, we'll see. So like maybe I'll get the Aurora Borealis tonight or maybe it'll be a downpour. The thing is, I put the wish energy out there and something happened to let me know that my wishes are her. Whatever we go for from there, we'll find out. <laughs> All right, everyone. So take a moment and, um, you know, I hope you're having fun and that has sparked joy in your heart. So just connect with that joy. Anything that's in your body that is not joy. Invited to sort of step aside for now. It will have its time, 
but this isn't it. Right now is joy time. So just like uh, you're starting a fire in a wood burning stove or a fireplace or a sacred hearth, invite the joy embers to just become beautiful, magical wish fire. And invite that energy to spread through you. Invite that joy energy to just fill all of your nooks and crannies in your body so that you're a being of joy. Remember this moment as you go through your day, feel welcome to take little breaks and return to this moment, to this exercise. As we are beginning our manifestation journey together, invite a manifestation sign. For me, it's magical horses. Whatever, it could be a color, a shape, smiles. Invite people to just smile at you all day. And it might be your watching TV shows and you keep finding that people, the casts keep smiling, or it might be wherever you go out, people are smiling. Or you post something on Facebook and you get a lot of smile responses, who knows? And invite flowers. Whatever you like, invite this into your life today, tomorrow, the next few days, because there's no pressure. There's no pressure that it must happen now or it's not real. This is real and we're just connecting our resonance with it, merging our reality with the reality of your little wish. I know in my heart, as I go forward today, tomorrow, the next few days, I am going to connect with a lot of magical voices. And you will connect with what is in your heart. And as you go forward, if you find your wish evolves, feel welcome to reconnect and evolve your manifestation connection wish. Beautiful. Welcome back. Give yourself a hug. <sighs> enjoy and you know feel welcome to share in the comments if things happen for you yeah yeah that'd be great let's let's do that yeah that share in the community thank you that was wonderful mm -hmm. i enjoyed it remember today we are connecting with the joy with the joy and the fun no worries on expectations Have a wonderful day, everyone. And tomorrow, yeah, Mariam will take lead tomorrow, 1145. See you all hey. tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.